What's up everybody, Cats007 and today I bring you guys some Soul Weaver gameplay and in this gameplay I want to go over the mentality you need to have when you're playing non-meta characters. Regarding hunters, in terms of like Spider, Ripper, uh, Lizard, you know, the thing with Soul Weaver and my playstyle is when you're playing hunters like Ripper, Soul Weaver, you have to maintain pressure. Now, you don't have that ability to pressure, for example, like a Sculptor who has the ability to chisel or a Dream Witch who has the ability to put Leech on multiple Cyphers, you know what I'm saying? So, with Soul Weaver, you need to drill into the mentality that one, you need to consistently slug over and over and over. You have to make sure you secure that person on chair. Now, with Hunters like Soul Weaver, all these non-meta Hunters, you need to make sure that not every game is going to be a win. Do not expect that you're going to go into this game with a win, you know? So, what I like about Soul Weaver is um, the threads. The threads are like an infinite peeper for like 15 seconds. So, if somebody goes to my threads, I can see them across the map. You feel me? So, I put a thread in basement or around basement, and you're going to notice how I capitalize off of that. So, I pressure the cypher. Um, the gravekeeper moved from the cypher. And now I'm going after the mercenary, right? As soon as I see him go through the thread, I teleport right back. Now, on big maps, I typically begin to run um, teleport. You know, I find myself much more beneficial because, you know, you want to rotate, etc. So, you see what I was doing? I was forced to leave my chair after that early down. You know, and what happens if you can't the chair? Sure, you're going to go for a draw. When you move from the chair, you're trying to put pressure everywhere you go. That is how you push draw to win. You need to make sure you maintain pressure all over the map. So, that entire time while the mechanic was on chair, not only she above half, the gray cube wasn't decoding and the mercenary was not decoding. Only one person was decoding, that was a priestess. And right now, that mechanic is down at five ciphers. So, in terms of mentality, not every game is a win. Now, Soul Weaver, she has probably one of the strongest draw potentials, but probably one of the lowest win and loss potentials. You know? So, always keep in mind, do not get frustrated or upset if you lose a Soul Weaver, all these non meta characters, you know? And for those who do win with these non meta characters, just Soul Weaver, Ripper, Lizard, etc. You know, kudos to you. You know, you put a lot of hard work and dedication into this, but no matter what, especially if you're a beginner player, etc., the mentality you need to drill into is that not every game is a win. And while playing Soul Weaver, um, you have to maintain pressure. Now, that is typically how you would go for those wins, draws. You know, you want to chair somebody near the cipher. Unfortunately, I did not have that luxury of chairing somebody near a cipher. Um, the mechanic got basement, but I was forced, you know, go out, extend my boundaries, etc., and go after the um mercenary you know so right now uh, mechanic is out on chair um mercenary got web shot he's gonna go down right now i'm focusing all my attention on that gravekeeper um merc just went down um merc is going back and forth um sorry my apologies the gravekeeper gravekeeper is gonna go down mercenary just went down so here i got a little bit greedy right i'm oh, sorry i got text notification but um i'm gonna try the gravekeeper right and i'm looking around for the wobbling cyphers now i want that format you know so i'm gonna teleport instantly to the cypher i see wobbling on the priestess right now going through these portals you know and i'm gonna play a little clip for you guys just wait it out it's literally broken do i think she deserves a nerf no. <laughs> if you tell me she's not broken i swear to god i'm gonna yeah i'm kicking numa for prodigy numa yeah i'm a prodigy bro <laughs> but priestess the pain priestess is definitely a pain but as Soul Weaver, you know, she ain't that bad to do it. But, you know, definitely other hunters. Um, so I'm sorry, Priest is just a pain in the butt. Um, Mercenary gets back up. I'm hoping he wouldn't say the Grave Keeper in time, but he did. You know, I would anticipate that he'll heal a lot a slower, a lot slower than that. But the, um, I guess he had sticker on him. But, um, it's anyway. The Priest is going to vault the window. I'll paint in all my focus on that Priestess right now. And I got to slug over and over. Now, I know for a fact this game was a win in my book because... Technically, the Gravekeeper and the Mercenary both have decoding uh, debuffs. And it's like a long time for them to pop four ciphers. You know, sure, they're worked on, but that debuff is really going to kill all of them. And right now, that Priest is on chair. So they have to go for this rescue. And they're so busy healing up instead of um, cypher rushing. So I'm like, this is good in my favor. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking around. Tiny cypher's wobbling, going back upstairs. Um, now, I can camp this chair. All I need them to do is just come rescue. And I'll just slug off from there. Kill the priestess, and that's my win. I'm looking at the cypher, see where everyone's coming from. Alright, so my threads, looking around, looking around. I don't see nobody going anywhere. So I'm gonna go upstairs here, right? And now a little trick you can do, a so um so weaver that people don't know, that you can snipe people across map like so. Boop. 
So I used to like to do that on a big boat, you know, for a lakeside. One of my favorite things to do. So I sniped that Merc, and that Merc was like, nah, I don't want that. I want that smoke. I want to smoke. I don't want to smoke. So I, just, I sniped the Mercenary again. I see the Gravekeeper going on. Okay, Gravekeeper, we can do this, buddy. We can do this. I'm with it. So he back off the save, too. He's like, nah, I'm not going, bro. <laughs> uh, going after the Gravekeeper, walked to the pallet. He had a perfume, but, you know, Soy was just so fast, you don't anticipate her moving that quickly, you know? Um... There goes the great crew white forty. That's how perfume. He mind games. Does a really good job with the perfume. I try to bait it out. Unfortunately, it does not go in my favor. I didn't just go back. So he doubles back. I web him, and he's really slow at the moment. All I have to do is just put a thread down, or just change the pal like so, and he's dead. Um, from here, this is typically GG, but um, like I was saying, um, with pressure, it's a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure with Soul Weaver. And the drill to mentality that, you know, it is a draw character. And if you want to push for that win, just maintain pressure. Um, it's not as easy as people think, but you'll get into the habit of it. Most definitely. Uh, Mercenary is going to make his way towards Dungeon. I try to get a snipe, but eh, it happens. Uh, dungeon is in middle, and that is GG's. I'm Cassius Will 7. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.